Hello there everybody, my name is Supernova and welcome back to some more Pikmin. Last time, we went to the Distant Spring and we got two ship parts. This time, we're actually going back to the Distant Spring to try to get some more ship parts, so why don't we do that right now? Okay, so before we do anything, we're going to be getting out as many red Pikmin as possible. Which is going to be 98, because there's already two on the field. And we're going to go quickly clear out the rest of the bull bears, so they won't cause a hassle if we bring any ship parts back. There's a blue Pikmin over here. There we go. Okay. So now that we're done with that, we're actually not going to carry any of these. Actually, you know what? Since I have a blue Pikmin here, this would be a good example. I don't remember if I showed this off, but I might as well show this off really quickly. A Pikmin, for example, a red one, drowning. You could throw a blue one, and you'll see... That blue Pikmin just saved that red Pikmin's life. It's a pretty cool mechanic that's in this game. Anyway, we're gonna go back to base and get a lot more blue Pikmin because we're gonna be needing them right now. <laughs> Look at these guys. He's like, wait for us! Wait for us! Okay, there's one- How did you get in there? How did that guy get in- Okay, whatever. Let him chill there for now, I guess. Okay, so actually, these are some new enemies over here. These are called Water Duffles. There we go. Okay, so, those guys are done with. Here's another ship part. What you're supposed to do is actually throw a bunch of Pikmin here, and then just basically get the ship part. Let me just show you really quickly. You go up here with some Pikmin, and you throw it, right? However, you could actually, like, do something way cooler by going a distance and throwing them. Now, some will be able to make it, as you can see here. And there we go. That's a quicker way of getting that ship part. So let these guys carry that. I found my number two Ionian jet. It's easy on the eyes, and its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. You know, I wonder what they use for fuel. That's what I'm wondering. I'm really curious about that. Anyway, now it's time for a pretty cool mechanic we're going to be doing. It's going to be converting Pikmin. So you'll be seeing this in a second. Okay, so now we need to convert at least 20 blue Pikmin into yellows using this yellow candy pop bud. Okay, perfect. So the rest of you guys can just chill here outside, I guess. And there's the ship part.
So we just need four more ship parts and we'll be able to increase the ship's capabilities. All right, these guys are gonna annoy me, I already know. So let me just disband them. Now, let's pluck these guys. I hope we have enough. We need at least 20, so let's see how many we have in here. Also, do you guys notice how they're all just going over there? Oh, now they're coming behind me. That's weird. All right, 20, perfect. So now we have to bring the yellows over here. Awesome. Okay, now we have to grab these yellows and we have to use them to get this ship part. There we go. Now what is this? I found my Cronus reactor. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the time-space continuum and turn it into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. Space-time continuum. What is this? Pokemon? <laughs> no, I'm joking. As you can see- No! What? I thought they were gonna stop! Guys, please, please, what are you doing? Okay, I thought they were gonna stop. I forgot this is Pikmin 1 AI. So, what you need to do now is convert them back to blues with this blue candy pop bud. There we go, so now we can pluck these guys. Once again, they're going over here for some reason. And now they're behind me as soon as I said that. Kinda weird, but whatever. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna be collecting the rest of these remains over here. I still don't understand how this guy got in here. And there we go! Let's get rid of some of these guys so they won't bother us tomorrow.
If you're a new player to this game, Wallywogs can be really annoying. I will say that. kill these things. These things are basically the pre-evolution of the Wallywogs, so the less of these in the world, the less Wallywogs there are going to be, you know what I mean? The day is basically over, as you can see. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> While well, this is happening, let's see if we left any Pikmin anywhere. There's some over there, there's one in the ground. Let's go get these, because these can actually die. I like the one in the ground. Is that everything? Yes. There's one in the ground over here. But since it's in the ground, we do not have to worry about it. Or you know what? Why don't we try to get it right now? We have 10 seconds. Why not try to get it? I think it's gonna be a blue Pikmin, though. There it is! Nineteen days since impact. If I could just find four more parts, the dolphin will be fully rebuilt. But time has grown short. I must not flag in my search. Even if I cannot recover every piece, I will not give up. Surely, some of those parts aren't absolutely necessary. I can almost see my smiling family. Alright, so today we sprouted 73 Pikmin. We lost 26 in battle, and we left behind zero. We got two ship parts, and we have four remaining. Alright, and this is where I'm going to be ending the episode, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time. See you later!